Hello everyone, this is Kenny with WatchReport.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Marathon JDD Jumbo Automatic JSAR Military Divers Watch, model number WW194021, or better known in the Marathon world as the JDD. Now, this watch was actually sent to us, we got this watch from TopSpecUS.com but they can also be picked up off of Marathon's website, so go ahead and be sure to check out topspecus.com as they do carry a full line of uh, Marathon watches. It's actually one of my favorite tactical dive watches here. Um, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll take a quick peek and we'll break this watch down. Uh, the, the case is constructed from stainless steel very sturdy, very solid uh, case construction here. Being a search and rescue watch, you definitely needed to be um, extra sturdy because this watch, if put into the proper work atmosphere, is going to take a beating. Those of us um, in the real world, um, our desks kind of do a good job at not beating them up. But um, this is definitely a solid dive watch, solid uh, tactical watch, solid tool watch, I guess you could say, um, that you can definitely put a beating to without actually having to worry about it uh, damaging the watch because the construction of this case and the watch by itself is uh, is superb in my opinion. Um, fresh out of the package, you're gonna pick the watch up, you're gonna realize some serious weight to it. Um, with the vulcanized rubber straps, the total weight of the watch comes in at 154 grams. Um, there is an option that you can get with the bracelet and that would bring the total watch weight up to 254 grams on an unsized bracelet. So there is definitely some beefiness to this watch. The case dimension measures in between 10 and 4 at a total of 46 millimeters. With the crown it measures in at a total of 52 millimeters. So it's a good size uh, watch if you have a I have a seven inch watch and I'll put it on wrist real quick for you guys and I'll show you. Excuse me here. All right. So there's a watch on wrist. I have a seven inch wrist and the 46 millimeter size is, is about, about as large as I want to go. It eats up the uh, pretty much the full real estate on my wrist. And with the 52 millimeters total of width right here, the crown does dig into my wrist just a little bit, but with these size watches, I do slide it up my, uh, my wrist portion just a little bit and I tighten the strap down with the watch sitting a little bit high up on my wrist, uh, just a personal preference that I uh, found to work with me um, to avoid that uh, crown. Go ahead and digging into the top of my hand there. The total height of the watch sits about 17 millimeters. So just reiterating again, it is definitely a good sized watch here. So if you have a seven and a half, eight inch wrist um, or larger, this is definitely going to look extremely nice on your wrist. I personally think it looks nice on my seven inch wrist so I really don't even think twice about it because this is uh, this is a like I said one of my favorite watches uh, in the collection here all right let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the crown real quick because a uh, little feature here with the crown the crown does have superb grip quality with that uh, knurled grip there you can go ahead and easily grip this crown if you were underwater with gloves on <coughs> excuse me or if you had slippery fingers or wet fingers or anything like that, the crown is extremely easy to grip and uh, unwind. So in the first position, we can go ahead and we can power the automatic movement here. If we pull it out to the second position, here we go. We are actually, oops, sorry, that's third. There we go, second position. Now, the JDD is a bilingual day-date window. Um, so with it in the second position, we rotate the crown clockwise and go ahead and see the date will move. If we go counterclockwise, the day will move and it is French English. So depending on uh, your language of preference, wherever you set it, the watch will stick 
with either the English or French setting on the day, which is a cool feature in my opinion. Get that there, perfect. So if you move it out to the third position, fully extend, you'll see hacking time, seconds will stop, and we'll go ahead and manipulate the time here. Very smooth movement on the crown. Again, just adding to the superb quality of the Marathon JDD. So we'll go ahead, we'll push in the crown, we'll get this all tightened up. Now just expanding a little bit on the case here, you see the uh, built-in crown guards, extremely durable. Um, so if you are diving with this watch, it is definitely going to provide the protection needed uh, to ensure there is no damage to the crown and no um, entry of water into the case of the watch. So uh, well done job by Marathon there with the uh, crown guards. As you can see, they're pretty thick and prominent there. All right, we'll move on to the bezel here. The bezel um, is, is one of my favorite features on this watch. It is a 120 click unidirectional bezel. Uh, smooth movement in my opinion. Um, there is no play at all, um, unless you're going to move it here. Locked in place, there's no play on the uh, bezel there. Um, the bezel is very, um, I guess you'd say tool watch inspired, gear inspired. It's definitely got a nice deep engraved um, bezel there. Very gear heavy inspired wa uh, bezel there. Making it extremely easy, again, to grip just like the, uh, the crown there. So if you, again, you were underwater, you had gloves on. Um, some bezels, they have very fine um, etching and, and cutouts in the bezel, making it easy for, the, uh, for your fingers to slip on. But if your fingers are wet or anything like that, this is definitely an easy bezel to grip if needed to be able to set the bezel. Uh, moving on to the dial, you can see that the dial, in my opinion, is super clean, uh, very easily legible, and is powered by tritium tubes. Now, this, I personally, I like tritium, um, depending on the watch. This watch, I feel that the tritium fits well on the watch. Um, other watches, other dive watches, I do prefer the luminescent paint only because the tritium tubes tend to be a lot more narrow, narrow, excuse me, narrow um, in comparison to luminescent paint. Um, some companies, they apply thick strips of luminescent paint making the dial pop easily in a dark situation. The tritium tubes, um, although they are not super bright, they definitely do provide enough luminescent that when in a dark, uh, environment and your eyes are adjusted, the uh, loom definitely does pop out from the tritium gas tubes here. You will see two of them placed at the 12 o'clock position, one for every hour marker around the exterior portion of the dial there. And then there are tritium tubes as well as on the hour and minute hand and a small one on the sweeping second hand there, as you can see. Now I am filming during the day, so I do apologize. I cannot give you a luminescent shot um, right now during the video, but please be sure to check out the full written review with high def pictures on watchreport.com and you'll be able to see the, uh, the tritium tubes uh, in a luminescent shot in a darker setting. Now with the uh, Marathon, the, the GSOR, the hour, uh, the military hour indicators are on the inside of the dial here. You'll see with the JDD Marathon push them to the outer chapter ring there, uh, which is a nice touch in my opinion. Um, basically, it's it's decluttering the face of the dial there, and still giving you the military hour time. For those of us who um, are not too efficient with the actual military our time uh, definitely does make it easier and um, easy, easily legible to read when on wrist. Um, you know, the hour, the, I'm sorry, not the hour, the day date window period, easily legible in my opinion. Um, you know, I've, I've heard people say that they would have liked to see the day date with a black and white font. I actually think it works better here with the white, black, uh, 
there you go, the white background with the black font. I think it pops a little bit easier on the uh, on the dial there. If it was black, it would probably uh, faded in too much and would have been a little hard to read, uh, in my opinion. But the day date window is easily legible. Um, protecting the dial, we have a slightly domed sapphire crystal. Now, even in person, when you have the watch in hand, it's kind of hard to pick up. So I'm going to try and display it here as well as possible on the video. You probably see it right about in there. Um, there is a slight dome to the sapphire crystal. It is definitely not a flat uh, crystal by any means. And there is a slight curvature there, which is good. It, 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 during the daylight hours, I know we're, we're under studio lights here and it, there is definitely a little bit of glare picked up and uh, seen here in the video. But when you're wearing this JDD on your wrist during the day, the crystal is, is non-existent in my opinion. Um, very clear uh, with that slight dome, it, it alleviates all of the uh, possibility of, of glare from the sunlight during the day, making the dial that much more legible. It's just again, one of those things that Marathon did um, that just, in my opinion, makes this watch superb. Go ahead, we'll take a look at the case back here. Pretty simplistic case back, uh, nothing that you would expect other than the solid stainless steel case back for a tactical search and rescue watch. Um, you know, the basic functions uh, of the watch engraved there, there is a little bit of space here for personal engravement if you wish. Um, so, screw down case back, nothing too fancy, keeping simple and, and clean on the back end there from Marathon. Now the watch is powered by an S SW200 Stiletto Swiss made 26 automatic movement watch, self winding 26 joules. Um, so you're definitely going to get a good power reserve there and you can go ahead and see the movement on the watch. Very efficient. Quick look at the vulcanized rubber strap here. It's got a nice carbon fiber print to it, giving it a nice uh, touch of style there. Your two keepers and your Marathon logo uh, engraved there into the buckle. All right, so there it is guys, the Marathon JDD Jumbo Automatic JSR Military Divers Watch. This watch has an overall retail price tag of $1,361.30 US dollar off of Marathon site. But if you go ahead and check out topspecus.com, the retail price tag on their watch is $1,157.11. So that just gives you the option to uh, save a little bit of coin there. All right, there you go. And again, my name is Kenny for watchreport.com. Be sure to check out the full written review on watchreport.com uh, to cover any specs of the watch that I didn't cover here in the video, as well as seeing high def uh, pictures of the uh, tritium tubes in a luminescent setting and it, make sure you subscribe to watch report on YouTube to get all of our latest video updates All right, there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed the review Please feel free to leave some comments and suggestions below and we look forward to the next time. Take care